Hey YouTube, Common Collector here, and today we are opening up two of the new 2020 Mega Tins. So if you guys have not gotten your hands on this, this just came out available yesterday at Walmart, card stores, stuff like that. So I went ahead and I bought a couple of these. I actually have a handful more, but I figured we would just open up two of the new Mega Tins. So there are some really great reprints in here. There is Opelousa Ball of the Goddess and Borrowed Savage Dragon for some of the budget players who haven't been able to get their hands on this. This is a really nice opportunity to get some of these expensive cards, as well as Pot of Extravagance. I'm excited to get a couple more play sets of Pot of Extravagance just for my other deck so I don't have to be swapping them around and whatnot. And then sort of the elephant in the room is Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, so everyone is trying to get their hands on a few copies of that, that way they can splash it into their extra deck. And it runs off of a seemingly small engine, so that means that we are going to be going into a format where a lot of decks are maybe even going to be taking out Halka Fibrax and Link Cross combos out of their deck, especially because of the upcoming ban list. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So hopefully we can pull at least one copy of that today, as well as some of the other great reprints. And uh, you guys are probably noticing that my set is looking a little bit different today. So my apartment did take some flooding this last weekend. So I've been spending all week moving my stuff from a downstairs apartment to an upstairs, which means... Um, yeah, we have a new set and whatnot, so it's going to take me a while to recreate everything and get deck profiles and all that stuff going again. But thank you guys very much for your support. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't worry, my collection did not take uh, huge damage. I had a couple boxes of cards that were sitting on the ground that got a little bit wet, so I'm going to have to go through and throw away some cards. But in general, it's been a bit of a trying week, so I am going to be trying to get back into putting out deck profiles and other discussion videos as soon as I can. I'm hoping to get a ban list discussion up once that hits. And trust me, you guys will be seeing plenty of videos in the near future here. But anyways, let's just crack open some of these mega tins and see what we can get. Roll that intro. All right, guys, so let's just dive on into these new tins. Uh, first of all, I just want to like look at the artwork on here. So this is this would be like the artwork on the wall on the like hieroglyphics that are in the second season of Yu-Gi-Oh! So this is when they're having like the Domino City tournament and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so it kind of like goes to Yugi's past as well as uh, Kaiba's like great ancestors. So uh, yeah, really cool that they like incorporated that into the 2020 tins. I think that that's going to be pretty memorable that they waited till this year. So compared to like last year's tins, like these ones are a little bit more, you can kind of see like the edges on here are a little bit more crisp. Whereas I think the last year's, they were like more rounded and whatnot. But yeah, this is like just a really nice looking box and yeah, I'm really digging it. Um, yeah, so I believe that this year with the yeah the with the packs, there's no like promos outside like where last year you could get the Nibiru and whatnot. But overall, this seems like a good size box, and also I think it's like the same size as last year. But wow, and like that really snaps in like nice and crisp too. So I'm really liking that. And it's got like a cool finish on the kind of like looks like a pack edging right there i like that these are really cool cool boxes and definitely like something nice to display and then like the pack looks really cool too so again we're looking for probably some like pot of extravagance type stuff and again the red eyes dark dragoon for sure and i mean like i don't really care if i pull an opalus and whatnot at this point so let's just hop on in and we're probably just going to blast through the commons because we don't really care about that stuff we're really more worried about the prismatic rares and stuff like that so for our first ultra rare, uh, sorry, ultra, sorry, super rare, we have Shinobi Necro, a Marine Sus Blue Tang, and Striker Dragon in the Prismatic Secret Rare. That's pretty cool. I like that. Definitely want to incorporate that into my Rocket deck. That's pretty sweet. Uh, then we have the Strength and Unity, the new like Blue Eyes and Dark Magician support. So if you're looking to add a little bit of extra power to Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, that's totally cool. But, um, yeah, I don't think that, like, people were obviously not very excited about the promos and whatnot, but overall I think that it was, uh, you know, still, like, this is going to be a decent set, pretty good reprints, and uh, it's really nice for, like, people who are into stuff like Evil Eye and whatnot, because uh, Evil Eye really was never very expensive, 
but I have always heard some complaints about Serzil's price point. So like people will say that you, know, you can't really play Evil Eyes on a budget, but now you definitely can because you can get like all these things reprinted. Here we have a Basilius, Familiar of the Evil Eye, Tenu Spirit, and for our Ultra, or our, sorry, our Super Rare again, we have Beat Raptor. So this was uh, printed as a common last year. And then here we have Astragools going into a Neos Fusion. Okay, that's going to be our Prismatic. Here we have a Witchcrafter Masterpiece and Marine Cest Marbled Rock. That's actually like really sick in the Ultra Rare. I like that. Um, sorry about if the, like the lighting and stuff is weird in here. I obviously this is like my sort of makeshift set for the moment. This is my first video back since I've. Uh, switched my locations and whatnot for filming. So thank you guys again for, you know, being supportive, still uh, staying subscribed and watching videos. Actually been picking up, uh, it's been a very stressful week trying to get back into this groove, but then um, there has been quite a bit of like still subscriber increase. So that's very nice, like nice to feel some support yet from the community while I've been off. So thank you very much guys for sticking around. And, uh, oh wow, Chaos Betrayer. I can't even think of what set that would have come in. Maybe this was in like a, uh, in like the Legendary Duelist with uh, Bakura back in, I believe we got that in like October or something. I'm not positive. And then here we have, oh, this is, this looks like, oh, this is like a damaged Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Look at that. It's like bubbled, like it took on some water or something. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on camera. There you can see it like up on the name. Uh, yeah, this Fantastical Dragon Phantasmae does not look very good. I don't know what's the deal with that. I don't know if this has been a thing that's been happening, but I don't know if you consider that a misprint or if that's just like a factory problem, but that's really interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to be too upset about it, uh, sorry, too upset about it if that's like a problem with the card, because like I already have a playset of Phantasmae and I really don't even use it very much. Now that we're in Master Rule 5, but that's really odd. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, and then we're going to go into a Rogue of Endymion and a Gallic Granite for our Prismatic right there. So that's really cool to be seeing in a Prismatic as well. And then here we have a Serzil Watcher of the Evil Eye. So really cool to also be getting that in an Ultra Rare. Again, for like the people who can't afford the really expensive ones. So um, yeah, and that's going to be helping to bring down the price point of Serzil again, which is very good. So that is actually going to do it for our first box. So for the first box, not too bad. We didn't get anything too crazy here. Uh, we have the Gallic Granite, Striker Dragon. Um, oh, and I'm not sure what I did with my other Prismatic Rare. Huh. Uh, that's probably somewhere deep in here. Uh, yeah, I'm just really confused about what's up with that Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, uh, Neos Fusion. That's, I didn't <laughs> didn't pull that out because I guess I just wasn't very excited about that. But um, yeah, really wondering what's going on with that. I'll have to try to like get some better pictures and stuff. Maybe I'll put it up on Instagram or something. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But we still have our second tin to go through. So I'll shuffle all of this stuff off to the side. Uh, I'm not sure if I don't think like I'll do a video or anything on like the water damage that happened to my collection. I don't think that that would be a very interesting video topic, but just as like a little bit of like a public service announcement, I guess I just want to say to you guys to make sure wherever you guys are at to try to try your best. You know, it's, it's really simple if you have like a box of cards, like one of like the long, um, I can't think of like the brand. I think BCW is the brand of like the boxes that they make like the really long thin boxes where you can store stuff. And that's where I have a lot of like my archetype specific cards. And that was what got hit probably the hardest by the water. So I ended up taking some damage to a handful of my favorite archetype specific cards and whatnot. So that was unfortunate. So just as a little public service announcement, I want to remind you guys to try to keep all of your cards like up where it's high and dry. If you have to run a dehumidifier in your bedroom, apartment, whatever, to like keep your collection, uh, you know, dry and, um, you know, don't put your stuff on the floor. If you live in a basement apartment, that's probably just sound advice. So here we have a desert locust. And for our first prismatic in this set, we have a Gizmek Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard. So this card is actually a pretty decent reprint as well. I, you know, all of the Gizmeks usually hold a pretty decent price point. 
Uh, here we have Successor Soul and Evil Eye Awakening. That's, um, you know, it's obviously really nice having this card in the Secret Rare, but it's kind of cool to just sort of like look deeper at the artwork on the Ultra Rares. So looking forward to, I, I you know, I'm just, I think I'm looking forward to seeing more Evil Eye players because it's just a really fun deck. And I feel like I talk about Evil Eye a little bit too much on the channel, but I'm just sort of a big advocate for people to play it because I think it's really fun. So... All right, going on into our second pack here for tin number two, we have some Subterra cards. So Subterra is getting even more budget to play. I really wish that Galactic Spiral would have gotten a rarity upgrade because this came out in Chaos Impact as a um, as a common, and I just wish it would kind of get boosted up. But without further ado, let's get on into this stuff. We have Marine Cess Blue Tang, a Marine Cess Blue Slug, and then Time Thief Redoer for our Prismatic. And here we have a Gizmek Orochi, so that's actually pretty nice to be getting another one of those as well. This is just a really good extender um, for other stuff, you know, decks like uh, Orcus and whatnot. really like using that, so very nice to be getting that. And Aloof Lupin, Lupin, I guess I've never even seen that card before. We have Guard Dragon Justissa, which again, this card probably could have used a rarity bump as well, because this was just a common, I believe, in, uh, uh, geez, can't think of the set right now, um, Savage Strike. That's what that originally came in, so not sure why there's like some of those cards where they already had them as commons and they can't give them like a rarity bump. I think that, that would have been nice. So here we have Infinitrack Drag Shovel. I'm surprised we haven't really had too many of the Infinitrack stuff, but we've had a good good level of Infinitrack, Witchcrafter, and Evil Eye stuff so far. So for our final pack here, we're just going to go on into the rare stuff. So we have Unchained Soul of Disaster, a Madame Vare, and World Legacy Guard Dragon. This was a really cool reprint as well to be uh, having in here. So really excited to see that in there. Again, this was like a pretty spendy card. Um, this has been sort of like a, um, a, a choice for me, which I'm thinking could possibly one day get hit on the ban list just because it's so good in Guard Dragon decks and whatnot that I, I could see this card eventually hitting the ban list because, you know, uh, like even just getting limited to one like Monster Reborn, because this is a free Monster Reborn and then every turn you can move your Link monsters around. So this has been one card that I've been suspicious for a while if it'll ever hit the ban list. So then we're going on into Fusion Destiny. And Abomination Prison, and then Barricade Board Blocker. So, unfortunately, we did not get Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in this set. But, overall, I'm pretty happy with the pulls. I'm just going to pull out, like, some of the more notable stuff that we got. So, we got the, for all of our Prismatics, I'll just put them up top. We got the Gallic Granite, Neo Fusion, World Legacy Guard Dragon. And for our others, we had, ooh, I must have, oh, Striker Dragon. And that's all six right there. So uh, then we did get like the Successor Soul and Strength and Unity for our promos. And I am just so curious as to what's with this fantastical dragon Phantasme. Because I've never seen that before where the card is so bubbled up like that. The back of the card looks pretty okay. But yeah, I am just not sure what's going on with that. But anyways, guys, those are my pulls. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the comments what cards you guys are pulling from here. And again, I'm very sorry for the lack of deck profiles and whatnot lately. We do have a new ban list coming up in a couple of weeks here, hopefully. So as long as Konami doesn't screw us and give us like another uh, cheapo ban list like they did back in June, hopefully we can get a good ban list and I can really bump out some good deck profiles updating from the new cards that we've gotten. But thank you guys very much for joining and for all of your support. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.